Hi everyone, this is John with Homeroom Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a session and record in Pro Tools 9. This also works in Pro Tools 8 and most other versions of Pro Tools. That's the same same steps. Uh, I already have a new session open, but just to recap, file, new session. I usually always go with 4824. It just, for those of you who don't understand this, it just gives you a higher quality of audio when you're recording and gives you more digital data to work with when you're editing. Uh, so you can record at lower qualities if you want and do that if your session doesn't really call for it but I recommend sticking with this setup here click OK it's gonna have you save it in a place just pick a place to save it I already have one opened up so I'm gonna click cancel so here's what shows up you got your edit window right here and then your mix window right here is where your mix is gonna show up so let's add some tracks today we're just gonna be recording an acoustic guitar so you click new we're going to click, we're going to create a couple mono tracks because we know we're going to do some overdubs later on. Uh, mono audio tracks, that's what we want. Click create. Uh, now we're going to create a master fader track, so new track again. Now what you can do if you want, you can click this little plus over here and it drops down more rows. So you can keep creating different types of tracks. Okay, you can keep creating and that way you don't have to keep going into new track. But I'm just showing you this way for repetition. So we want a stereo master fader. And what this gives us is it gives us that, that master fader that we see on mixing boards that controls the volume of everything. So all these tracks, every track you have, will be sent to this main fader. And this will control the volume to your speakers. So now we're recording using a Firewire mixer. Uh, I have a Pro Tools interface, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Firewire interface. Pro Tools 9 allows you to use any kind of USB or Firewire interface that you may have. You don't necessarily have to buy Avid's um, interface, which is really nice because a lot of people, you know, they have an interface that they used to use with GarageBand and stuff, and now they want to upgrade to a better software, but they don't want to buy the expensive Avid Pro Tools uh, hardware. So now you can use that pre-existing interface mixer that you've had and use that with Pro Tools. You do all that through setup and playback engine. You're going to click here and find your mixer, find your interface. We are using the Alesis Firewire mixer. And then you're going to go into setup, input, output, I.O. And you're going to check your inputs and outputs and make sure everything should load in fine. If you have the right on a PC, if you have the right drivers installed, um, everything should look okay here. Uh, if it doesn't, for some reason, consult the manual and find out and read about how to create paths here. But for this purpose of this tutorial, we're just I'm just going to show you the bare bones of how to do this. So assuming everything's all set up right and you have your hardware set up, we have our tracks created. We're just going to create a click track just to give us some kind of reference. Uh, right now I have the tempo set at 160, which is where I want it. Standard's 120. When you create it, it's going to be 120. If you want to change the tempo, you can do it down here, or you can do it up here by double click by clicking on that little diamond. So, we should press play and we should hear the click. There it is. That's our metronome. So now, our microphone's going into input one on our mixer. Uh, find whichever input your microphone's going into. Select it arm the track that means you're going to press this little button over here and you should see signal coming in that's from the microphone not the microphone I'm talking in but we have a separate microphone set up there you go you can hear that and that microphone is going into my mixer so now what you can do is you can get your guitar out or your vocalist and this is when you set your levels you set your level make sure you get a good level maybe do a practice recording before you actually lay down the real one once you get your level set, you're going to go up here, click record, and now you have to press play. Some softwares you just press record and it automatically starts recording. Pro Tools, you have to arm the tracks you want to record. So you can record more than one track at a time. As many inputs as you have, you can record. Arm the tracks you want to record, click record up here, and then press play and you'll start recording. Let's do that right now. Let's lay down a basic guitar track.
stop that. I was a little off the click, but that's okay it's for the purpose. So there we go. We've now recorded our guitar. Disarm, and we can now listen back. Let's get the click. It's kind of annoying. There we go. And it sounds great. Now you've recorded your guitar. Uh, the command for trimming is Apple E on a Mac, and you can then click and delete that. And that just gets rid of all your excess audio that you don't really need. And a little fader thing up in the corner. Um, gets rid of all the audio you don't need. And now what you can do is you can go down your next track, select the same input, unless you have a different mic, select a different input, arm for recording, and now you can record your overdubs. And you can keep doing that, keep adding tracks, keep selecting your inputs, overdubbing your tracks, and that's the basics of recording in Pro Tools. Again, I'm John Owens, Homeroom Studios. The website's homeroomstudios.com. Check it out. Check out the studio blog. Um, I Thanks for stopping by.